morning, but I'm going to start with you, Shannon. Mm -hmm. What does this decision from McDaniels tell you? I believe a folk, uh, team's made that decision for him. Huh. Um, I'm surprised, Skip, that he's still getting interviews, considering um, outside of New England, he's been awful. And that's putting it mildly. You look at the, the lack of success he had as a head coach and a play call in Denver. He goes to uh, the Rams, St. Louis Rams at the time. He's a mm -hmm. play caller there. He's terrible. So he's only had success in New England. So how much credit should he get for Tom Brady? Now, I, I don't know uh, about him receiving success for that. And because of his track record, Skip, I believe what he did to Andy is an unforgivable for me. Now, <clears throat> I don't know a whole lot about a whole lot of organizations, Skip, but you know when it comes to Denver, I'm, I'm well tied in. And I don't ever use the term all or every. Because no matter how bad a person is, you'll always find someone that could go to bat for him and say, you know what? Nah, he's not like that. He's a pretty good guy. Mm -hmm. Every person, capital E, <laughs> person I talked to in Denver, in the building, despised, okay. capital D, wow. Josh McDaniel. Mm. Skip, they said he's the worst person to try to communicate. It's everything is, is belittling. Mm -hmm. Everything is... You're this, you're SO that, you're MF this. Mm -hmm. And if, if people just got tired of it yeah. because he did not know how to communicate. That, that happens to chips off the Belichick block, right? Yeah, but that's not, he's yeah. not coming with Belichick. No, nope, that's not, not Belichick. But, but I think Patricia went through that. Yeah, really? Like he yeah. walks in the door like, I'm Matt Patricia. Yeah, yeah, like, so, yeah. Like, yeah, you're not. It, 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 it's Skip, for me, yeah. I, I don't, and maybe, and look, maybe he was interested in the Green Bay job. He did take his name out of the search for, uh, um, at Cincinnati. Yep. But I don't think the job offerings, because they Green Bay, they interviewed 10 people. Mm -hmm. 10. And it shows Matt LaFleur. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure he's as hot a commodity as he once was. And to pay, say face, or oh, I'm going back now, it's, it's been reported mm -hmm. that he's compensated better than any other uh, uh, coordinator. I, I would assume he is. Than the yep. NFL. So he's mm -hmm. making money like a first-year head coach. Okay. But for me, because here's the thing, Skip. He has a perfect situation, D. Hall, and let me know if you agree. If Tom Brady doesn't play well, we're going to blame the defense and Coach Belichick. Because remember, it was Coach Belichick that put Gronk on the field to get that game when he touched down. Mm -hmm. If Brady plays bad, he doesn't have help. So Josh McDaniel gets to get credit. People look at him and say, well, he's coaching Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. But he escapes blame because we place the blame on others. Mm -hmm. For me, after what he did, after how it ended in Denver, when he got caught trying to cheat. He did. He tried to cheat. And Mr. Bill, and, 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 and Mr. B, Pat Bowling at the time, the owner, says, I will refuse to let you ruin my reputation. You're gone. He did. And what, how it ended in St. Louis, because, Skip, he started this. Remember, in St. Louis, after he got fired, he went and joined the Patriots in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. They passed the rule. You can't do that. In, I mean, you have to wait. Uh, but for me, Skip, I don't even know why he keeps getting in the running. Maybe, I, maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe you can see something I don't see, nah, but I don't see. It. I mean, I don't know why he keeps getting getting these opportunities as well. I think you're right. He he he's shown some guys are just better coordinators than they are head coaches. Like I said the other day, T you know, to be a really good head coach, you got to be a leader of men. You got to yeah. garner that respect. Like you you can't rule with fear as, as a head coach because these guys are grown men. You can do that in college, but in the NFL, these guys have to respect you and feel like we're all fighting yeah. for the same cause. And so. You know, I feel like, yeah, he took his name out, but I think, you know, exactly like you said, he just wasn't as hot of a commodity as he was last year. Mm -hmm. And so it's almost one of those things where, you know, you, you know Jenny says she's going to break up with you at lunch. Mm -hmm. and high, well, I'm going to dump her. I'm going to dump, yeah. dump her first. I'm going to dump her first. I'm going to dump her first. Great example. And, 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 and remind me of somebody that's, else I know. That's what it somebody feels like. Somebody resigns, and then he turns around and fires them because yeah. they resigned, and he did like... Mm. Yeah, but yeah. And so... I mean, that's that's kind of how I feel about, you know, about Josh McDaniels. And, I mean, you're right. I think a lot of teams, too, were a little bit hesitant because they didn't like the way he did uh, Indianapolis. Right. And those owners, man, like, that's a tight-knit group, those owners. They talk, you know, if one doesn't feel like he's been done right, somehow, some way, that connection, it gets passed down. Hmm. So, Mr. Sharp, yes. you told me earlier in the show that yeah. if you were the new coordinator at USC and all of a sudden Arizona and the Jets came calling, you're deuces, you're out. Yeah, right? Didn't you tell me that? Yep. <laughs> so, what happened to Josh McDaniels last year? He accepted the job in Indianapolis, and all of a sudden, out of his ivory tower came down Mr. Kraft, who said, 
Hang on just a second here, and we're presuming this happened, that a little handshake deal was made where he said, you are going to be my next head yeah, coach when leave. this regime ends. Yeah. When Bill Belichick is gone, you are my next head coach. I promise you that. And again, you couldn't really have a contract on that, right. but you could have a handshake. Right. Yeah. And I think Mr. Kraft's handshake would be one you would believe in, oh, yeah, right? You Absolutely. would take that to your bank. Right. But so, if that's the case, Skip. If that's the case, yeah, why, why are you out interviewing? If he promised you the job in waiting, why are you going yeah. looking around? That's exactly You already know, but you I, say you I, wanted to. I, I didn't think he'd take another interview after, after, after ah! last year. We know, yeah. at least it was reported, he did take one interview with Green Bay. Uh -huh. One interview. And I'm going to assume if you took that interview, you probably at least had a phone conversation with that quarterback in Green Bay. I'm going to guess. I mean, why? You got you shook a handshake deal again. You going back on your word? Okay, you had a handshake deal with Mr. Saying, Kraft, okay. saying oh, Tom maybe, Brady. Maybe that's what he's made of. Maybe that's uh, who he is. Da -da. Maybe he started thinking Aaron Rodgers is the next Tom Brady. Like maybe I could go there and I could go places with him mm -hmm. because Josh does know that it's diminishing returns on Tom. He's he's obviously going to be another year older next year yeah. and another year older the next year. Can you and imagine? How many, can right? you imagine that, Skip? What? Aaron Rodgers and Josh McDaniels. Okay. You, we, we, that, you, that, you're that, saying it wouldn't that work? That would make for an interesting, I don't interesting know. meeting room, you, that's for sure. You, let me ask you I question. think they didn't hire Josh because I, I'm, a, I'm even going to bet you that in the phone conversation between Aaron and Josh, they might have met face-to-face. -face. Right. They probably didn't exactly click. Didn't jail. Because you know? yeah. Josh is full of himself. Yeah. Now. He believes yeah. what he believes, and he thinks he knows all the answers. And when you have a relationship with somebody mm -hmm. like Tom and Josh have, you can go back and forth, Skip. You can say things. He can say things to you, Definitely. and it's okay. Yeah. But if you new to the party, oh, you can't do that. No, nope. uh, you got to be on your best behavior. <laughs> okay, but we have read reports, even the last couple of weeks, that the buzzards are starting to circle within the New England franchise, that all of a sudden in the meeting rooms and the offices, people are starting to look over their shoulders like, is Jonathan Kraft going to take over next year? Is he going to – what, what if – again, they're all looking at the hypothetical. Mm -hmm. What if – by chance, New England loses Sunday to your Los Chargers. Angeles Chargers. Mm -hmm. Some heads might roll. There could be dramatic changes within that organization. It's possible Belichick could be gone. I don't know. It depend. The outcome of the game is going to dictate all of how this is going to. Well, Denver, hold out. off how, how you're hiring. Okay. Because <laughs> the Belichick gets yeah, fired. I think everybody wants him. Oh, you want Belichick? Oh, do I? You want a guy who's lost his fastball? I don't hear he lost it. Really? Him. Okay. Skip my mouth. You know, he yeah. might want me to work for the huh. Broncos. But you, you got Fangio or Munchak, right? It's like uh, we gonna hold off. Munchak. We hold it off until after wow. Sunday's That's game. That's not highly impressive to me. Those two names. <laughs> you tell That's me. just me. But a whole lot is hinging on the outcome of Sunday's okay. game because if they at least win one home playoff game that they would be expected to win, then you start to look at okay, now you got to go to probably Kansas City. We don't know for sure, but but what if it's to Kansas City? Can you go win at Kansas City? I don't know. It's hard, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. And then you would look back at some point and say, how did we lose the one seed? Well, it was because of the last play at Miami. Whose responsibility was the last play? Oh, it could be the head coaches, You right? know, Skip, I'm not, I'm not big into lifetime contracts because mm. I believe you, should, you have to update your resume. But if anybody's learned a, uh, earned a lifetime contract, it's probably Coach Belichick. Yeah. It's hard for me. It's hard. It's, Skip, it's hard for somebody to come in and fire a guy with that resume. It's been done before. It has. Because uh, 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 the owner came in, uh, Jerry Jones, and fired Coach Landry, and who had a statue, and who, who no one would have thought. Some guys, you know, they coach as long as they want to. Coach Landry, you thought that would happen okay, to but Don Shula. because I wrote books about this, Tom was losing his fastball yeah. for sure over yeah. those last three those years. Those guys were Look at the old. records. Yeah. Those, guys, those guys had gotten older. Yeah. And you, they but, just hit... Three and thirteen bottom. It, the thing is, Skip, you know back then, yep. they kept you. Mm -hmm. If you were a great player, you retired there a great player, or, or you got one more year somewhere else. Mm -hmm. 13, 14, you might have been on your last leg, like this dude got no. But they had loyalty. They, it ain't they, like that anymore. Like that no You're more. not getting old on somebody. You dying. can't make that play, get your butt <laughs> up out of here. Period. Well, but I'm yeah, I, I, I just don't see them ever letting Coach Belichick go. He's the kind of guy who he he will when he's ready to go is when he'll stop coaching in New England, is the way I feel about it. Unless number 12 says, I've had enough of and, this. Unless they, if he unless say he had enough of it, and guess what? Mm. They're going to say, bye, Tommy. Mm. <laughs> That's what they going to say, bye, Tommy. I don't so know. Much will depend on what, what if weekend. Tommy? What, what if it hinges? What if they do go to Kansas City and loot? Let's just okay. do the okay. hypothetical. Okay. Then Tommy is going to look back at Miami and say, 
yeah, if if we don't blow the last play of that game, we got the one but seed. But you know two. how many plays throughout the course of the year? Yeah, throughout the course of the year that you can say, okay, hey, that I, one play. I know, but this one was play. one that really mattered. This is the one where I can point to one play. Yeah. You're up 33 to 28 with, what, seven seconds left, right? Yeah, my homeboy had the lead yeah. on y'all. Okay, but that was because 12 just said, nope, not mine. Okay, you see, that was yep. the one play I could have pointed to. <laughs> Either way. Oh, well, no. D'Angelo, good to have you, Thanks. as Thanks. always. So we've got Rob Parker uh, coming on the show next. <laughs> he has been called a cowboy hater by Paul? some. He's been called names. Maybe he's ready to <laughs> yeah. jump on the Dallas bandwagon. We'll discuss yeah. next.